wonderful to actually finally be in person again. In person events, I've really missed in person interviews, and and you know, you can't you can't quite beat it. Do you have a girl back home? <laughs> no. Do you? I could show him around. I'm afraid of this dream. Of waking up. Of losing you. A report has been received implying you have engaged in immoral conduct with the private. Give me his name. We could escape. Sergei, I'm an officer. I can't leave my motherland. Sexual relations of a man with another man, which is punishable by five years imprisonment in a hard labor camp. If there is the slightest truth in that report, nobody can protect you then. I see what goes on under my nose. I knew it. You know what happens to men like you? Like me? What do you then? You really believe that if you live a lie long enough, it'll suddenly become true? You don't know anything about me. Run! You won't tell anyone. I tried. So hard. Thank you for stopping and having a chat with us. It's lovely to meet you. How are you feeling? Uh, quite surreal, honestly. Yeah, it's it's been a, a long process. It's been about seven years in the making for me. So, yeah, it's it's amazing to finally be premiering in my home country and, and sharing the film with the world. Absolutely. And of course, after the last couple of years, it's been a bit of a crazy, crazy time. So how does it feel to be sort of back on the carpet and showing the artwork to the world? Wonderful. Wonderful to actually finally be in person again. In person events, I've really missed in person interviews, and and you know, you can't you can't quite beat it. Absolutely. So, what was it about this film that really attracted you? Why did you want to be a part of it? It was the combination of uh, the kind of Cold War era military sort of backdrop, and I've always you know loved James Bond, Jason Bourne, and 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 sort of like the Cold War era, and then it was the quality of the relationship. I've always been fascinated by the line of friendship and something more, and it was such an extraordinary background, like such an extraordinary uh, backdrop to have such a story happen. Absolutely, and why do you think telling a story like this is so important for, for this time in our life? Because once again, uh, you know, human rights are under attack, and LGBTQA plus community is under attack, and you know what was going on in Florida right now as well, and the the don't say gay bill coming up. I mean, this is America; it's kind of extraordinary. Um, so I think that telling a story like this, showing love and dare I say purest form between two people, regardless of their gender, and really being able to relate to that is just so important. Absolutely, and I think it's the fact that it's a story being told from a space of love, about love, not trying to... It's fighting the war with love, as it were. Yeah, absolutely. What would you say was your favourite and most special moment about working on this project? I think actually going to meet Sergei in Russia, getting to know him and getting to ask him questions about his time on the Air Force Base and, and also, I mean, having his his passing of, of he, he passed away in 2017 and attending his funeral and being able to basically be around those who you know he was so dear to and really making a dedication in that moment to go like I will tell you a story to the best of my ability however I can to bring your story to the world that's beautiful really beautiful um, we're gonna add on the end how fabulous you look this evening that suit is absolutely incredible who are you wearing um, that, actually, I think Stu will have to tell you, only because <laughs> I've gone completely... <laughs> Which means it's a secret, and we're not telling anyone because it's secret fashion. Stu, how are you? Good. Can you remember? Yeah, 
Fabulous. That would be lovely. Just because just you look incredible. <laughs> Amazing. What are you most looking forward to um, over the next year? What have you got coming up? Well, I want, certainly want to continue to write more stories um, and write more films. Then also, I just really want to get my teeth into something really great acting wise. I mean, another like film job maybe. And, and also, honestly, have a break. Thank you so much for standing and having a chat with us. Good luck with everything and just such an incredible journey you've been on and what an amazing story to tell. So thank you. Have a great evening. You deserve it. Thanks.